So I went over to Mixamo and I got some characters and some motions and I prepared them for instancing by keep making sure their pivots were at the origin and they're all facing down the x-axis and their transmission translations are frozen and they're grouped and named so I can find them easily later um, before we instance them to our particles I want to talk about seeding which um, is going to make a recreatable simulation which we can use to our advantage by say one character is acting just weird we can turn that um, lifespan to zero or basically kill it before it's ever born so we don't have to worry about it so if we get our expression editor out in our creation expression we can just write seed ID and if we turn them to numeric our ID will show up and when we hit play you can see like over here on the left is particle ID number four rewind there it is again and there's twelve And there's 4 and 12 again. So say we didn't like what 12 was doing, we can just set its lifespan to 0 and not have to worry about it. Um, if we play here a little longer, we'll notice we get a, a recognizable pattern. They're kind of striping down like that. In your expression, you can just multiply or add some values to it until you get something you like. So I'm just going to multiply it times 5 and see what that looks like and, and that's going to work for now, we can change it later so let's get our outliner out and open up our groups of references and start at the top one, make sure it's not the group node and go all the way to the last one and then holding control unselect the group nodes the top group so we don't get double instancing and then make sure that's right and then we can control select our particle and go instance and we'll have an instancer if you go to the attribute editor it'll list everything you just selected in there and over here is their index starting at zero so our Keisha girl starts at zero goes to fifteen and then our next one starts so we're going to give each particle a random value and based on that value we're going to decide what character it is and what frame of the animation it's going to be born at so, let's get uh, some custom attributes in here called character, flow per particle, and custom index. And okay. And in our creation expression, so character equals. Truncated random value. Truncated means it's going to take any decimal and round it back down to the nearest whole number. And I have five characters, so I want to go between zero and five, which is one more than our characters, which is what we need. Okay, and I have a syntax error because I forgot a parenthesis. There we go. And then after our uh, 
um, birth position information. I'm going to add what I have previously created. Um, so if our character value is zero, it's going to be the girl. And her instances are from zero to fifteen, so it's going to pick one of those, and it's going to set a speed to point zero five. This is just a value I played with until it looked right with her animation. So in the other tutorials, there's a speed here that we're going to delete because each character is going to get its own custom speed. And character one, which is the guy, his instances are from sixteen to thirty one. And his speed is his animation is the same as the girl, so their speed is the same. And I'll post this expression. I don't want to go through every single one, but our zombie guy, he moves a little slower, so his speed is a lot slower than everybody else's. So with that done, we can plug in our custom index to the instancer index. Rewind. And now we have random people. And they're facing the wrong way. But to fix that, since we face them down the X, which instancing likes, we can get our particle back out. And under the instancer, and in there is a rotation options the aim direction set that to world velocity and whatever is aiming down the X will now face the direction the particle is traveling <laughs>